with Mrs. Parna and Mrs. DeGroote. guys today what we are going to do is we are going to draw cupcakes in the style of Wayne Tebow so what I want you to do is I want you to try to make three cupcakes on your page so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up towards the top what I'm gonna do is a straight line across it's gonna be the bottom of my cupcake and then I'm gonna add two more lines on the bottom one over here and one over here so that shows me that I can have it all spaced out because you want to give yourself enough room. And if you have room to do more, you could certainly do more. So the next step after you draw those three lines is you're going to draw a line up that comes out a little bit. You want the lines to uh, make almost like a V. Okay, so I'm going to do that to all of my cupcakes. Okay. Now there are lots of different ways that you can do the designs for your cupcakes. You can make it so you see a zigzag line for the top of your cupcake sheet. You can make like a wavy line to do the frosting. You can add other uh, shapes like an oval shape to also do the frosting. So I'm going to do a couple to show you and then you can choose what you want to do. So I'm going to start on my top one, I'm gonna make a wavy one. So I'm gonna do a wavy line across my top. And you wanna go over it a little bit so that this way it makes the top look bigger than the bottom. Then my next one, I'm gonna do like a zigzag line. And you don't have to do all of them the same as me. If you wanna do it different, you can. And then this one, I'm gonna do like a straight line across. After that, you're gonna end up doing the tops of your cupcakes. So all I'm gonna do is a rainbow line for the top part of this one. I'm gonna do a rainbow line for this one, but I'm gonna make a little line that goes out like this, make it look like it's coming over the edge. that and then I can also do oval so I'm gonna do three so it makes it look like the frosting is stacked I'm gonna do here's one two and three so there is the base for your cupcakes after you do your base you want to do a table so that they are sitting on something so I'm gonna start it at my top one here I'm just gonna draw a line over Stop, draw a line over. Now it makes it look like my cupcakes are sitting on the ground. Then you can add cherries and you can add the ridges to the paper on your cupcakes. So all I'm gonna do is add a couple vertical lines in each of my cupcakes. And then I'm going to add cherries on top. And if you don't like cherries, you don't have to put cherries. You can put sprinkles, you can put candies. So there's the start of mine. After I do that, I'm going to color them. And you can color them any way that you want, but I would try to use different colors. So I hope that you will join me when I color it. 